Today, I'm gonna to be starting my decluttering process. So I've just been feeling this really strong like pull to start simplifying our home and just getting rid of things mostly. So I came across the acronym KISS, which stands for Keep It Super Simple. So I'm gonna be using that acronym throughout this entire video. I tend to overthink organizing and decluttering and it really doesn't need to be that complicated. We are gonna be doing my closet. So um, this closet just gets cluttered. It's bad, it's really bad, which is why I really wanted to start in here. So I'm gonna start by taking everything out of here. It's just how I like to declutter spaces. And as I take things out, I'm gonna make a pile of things that I am not gonna use and things that I will use. So obviously the things that I use, I'm gonna put back in here and anything that I'm not using will not be coming back into this space. Even these first items that I brought out of here are a lot of things that I used while I was pregnant. So I even have like this uh, hemorrhoidal <laughs> pads from when um, I was postpartum with my son and it's unopened which is why it's been sitting in my closet because I don't want to toss it. This one, I don't know why it's even in there because it is open and it's probably dried up. Um, I also have these cans that are completely full. So anything that's open, I'm probably just gonna toss, but I am working with a few pregnant women. So I'm going to gift these all to them. This is where I always have an extremely hard time getting rid of things because this is probably like hundreds of dollars of worth in like pumping supplies and you can't reuse it. It's breast milk. You don't want to be stirring that with other babies, even if it is completely clean, it's just not recommended. So even like between pregnancies, you're supposed to get new phalanges and everything. So it's time for me to toss all this. I got to a point <laughs> where I was having a really hard time just getting rid of this freaking pumping bra because it was so expensive and um, I'd hate to just toss it but I also don't think that a lot of places will take it for donation and I don't know anybody that can fit into it. Keep it simple. <laughs> I either need it or I don't need it and I don't need it. I've had this longer than I can remember and I can't even remember the last time I had anything in here. So I would say it's probably time for me to finally get rid of this. A long time ago, I started collecting Disney Pixar figurines. These are just the deluxe versions that didn't fit on our shelf in the playroom, but I do want to put them in there. So I'm going to finally get a shelf so that I can put all of these on there. Um, they're definitely going to come out of our closet because it's not serving any purpose in there. Boxes. So I am so curious what your rules on boxes are. So this one I will probably toss because we've had it for a while and um, I'm just going to go through the box and make sure there's nothing in there like cords or anything that I need. Um, things like our Oculus. I know in the future we might end up selling on eBay or something like that. Same as like uh, my laptop. I'm not really certain about the robot vacuum. I'll probably get rid of this box, but we literally just got this like a couple weeks ago. So I want to make sure it is functioning <laughs> before I get rid of this box, just in case I need to return it. But other than that, I generally am pretty good about getting rid of boxes. favorite way to store all of our sheets. Um, I am just keeping, so I have my set on my bed and then I have an extra set. And then this is for our guest bed or futon. Um, so I just have one set for our futon since we don't really have guests that often. So I only need one set of sheets for that. And I got rid of another one that's just stained and old and tattered. But anyway, I like to store them inside pillowcases. So this is what it looks like once everything is inside and it looks so much neater.
of everything off my top shelf here. We still have a lot more down here. This is all the trash that I have so far, and this is everything for donation. I need to either sell or do something with this pump. And then all these baskets have just been sitting there waiting to be used for something, and I have not used them, so it's time to donate those as well. It's time to get through all the shirts. I'm just gonna work my way down, so I'm gonna bring everything out through here. I can already tell there is a baby carrier here that I didn't even use with my kids, so this is definitely gonna be going, and we're gonna go through the rest of this. For the most part, I still have everything in here pretty organized as in like all my dresses were right here so I'm still gonna try to keep all of these together. For each of my clothing items I will be going through one by one so I like to look at like each of these dresses and just consider whether or not I will be wearing it again or if I won't be. So if I'm going to wear it it's gonna go back in my closet. If I am not gonna wear it ever again even if it is super adorable I'm not gonna be keeping it. It's not serving any purpose inside my closet. I'm gonna go through everything separately. So I just went through the dresses and we are gonna be donating six dresses. So I had decided to go through just each section at a time. So I had first done all those dresses. Now I'm doing all of my tank tops and my crop tops together. I feel like this makes it a little bit more manageable rather than it just piling everything on the bed and then it looks so overwhelming. And then it's easier for me to keep everything kind of grouped together. So at the end of all of this, it's gonna be extremely easy to bring everything back into the closet. So now I'm going through all of my t-shirts and then I'll just work my way throughout the rest of the sections in my closet. These are all the shirts that I'm gonna be keeping, all t-shirts. And then these are all actually like seasonal t-shirts that I won't be wearing until fall or Christmas. So I'm going to be taking these off of hangers and then putting them in a bin or something that go on the shelf in my closet. And then these are all shirts that I will be donating. because now I need to work in hyper speed. Both my kids are sleeping, it's nap time. So I'm gonna get as much as I can done, hopefully before they wake up. This back corner is where I kept all of my work uniforms. So I have a lot of seasonal work uniforms as well, like Christmas and Halloween tops. So I'm making sure to like categorize those together. That way I can put them kind of in the back of my selection and I don't have to kind of like weed through different shirts as I am getting ready for work in the morning. I'm also getting rid of any of the pants that are way too big for me because they're from when I was pregnant and just different things like that. My friends say, get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky. It you want to learn something about me? It's, I absolutely love cardigans. I am obsessed with them, so it's really hard to part with some, especially when they're in the store. I just don't want to buy them all. So I'm definitely going to be going through this pile because the majority of them are cardigans. Plus, I live in Florida, so it's like warm 90% of the time. We only get cold fronts every once in a while in, in like January, so it's definitely not anytime soon. <laughs> so I need to get rid of some of these long sleeve cardigans. If I could wear cardigans every single day, I totally would. And usually I keep it so cold in our house that I could inside. Um, the moment I go outside though, I have to take everything off. It's just so hot where we live. I feel like cardigans are shoes in comparison to other women. And shoes I have no problem getting rid of. I usually only keep a few that I actually know I will be wearing and then I'm just not a big shoe person but cardigans on the other hand I can't like get enough of so these are like winter jackets that I don't wear very often so I'm actually getting rid of quite a few of those but I needed to try them on because I really had no idea if they even still fit um, and now I'm going through my jeans which are the last category of clothing in my closet I have gone through all of my clothes and these are all the clothes that I will be donating. 
and that's all in a pile over here so all of this is my donation pile so far so i had like run out of hangers for things to hang up on so i was pulling things off hangers and i would just drop them wherever so anything that's just laying around i already know is going to be a donation and now i have <laughs> plenty of hangers to use in christmas time we actually took this table out of our living room because we didn't have room for it um, with our Christmas tree, but now the Christmas tree has been gone for months and this had just been buried so I never took it out. So now I will be able to put it back in our living room. My closet is also where I keep all of my filming supplies, so I'm actually going to take the time to put a lot of that in the bags that it belongs in. I'm picking up even more of the clothes that I just tossed everywhere and there's a couple pillows in here that I had traded out because we recently got new pillows. There's a ton of home decor in here, all these picture frames with pictures on them. I'm gonna finally hang up in our living room. And then there's a few other decor pieces that I've just been trying to find places for in our home and I have not been able to find one. So it is just finally time to donate them. kept these for so long. I love them, but am I ever going to wear them? <laughs> no, they are so uncomfortable. This is something I would have put up with when I was 16, which is probably when I got these. I'm 30 this year, so I think it's time to donate those. We are completely empty for the most part. I just have my wedding dress hanging right here because I know I'm just probably gonna end up putting it right back there. Anyway, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> Bookshelf I'm probably gonna leave in here because I really liked keeping my shoes on it and whatever bags I needed right there. Now we are gonna do my favorite thing in here, which is vacuum. Now that everything is completely out of here. These hangers I'm actually gonna get out of here I'll keep a few of them but I'm ready to get rid of all those and then this is actually my wedding dress and eventually I would love 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 to get it into a shadow box and then display it here on my closet wall I think that would look so gorgeous and it wouldn't just be sitting inside this bag anymore eventually i want to paint you can see there's a ton of like scuff marks like i need to paint in here and on this wall i want to put like a floral wallpaper so those are just my plans for the future i'm probably not going to be doing it you know within the next couple months or anything but it is on my like idea list i don't even know if i want to show you guys this because it's absolutely freaking disgusting I have this bag that I used to bring with me to work all the time um, at the hospital and I had a snack in it and there's like see the holes from bugs getting into it and I found a dead body to one of them in here anyway uh, it's just so disgusting so I have a I got a plastic bag so that I can get that in there and get it out of our room. just had the rest of my pumping supply that I'm not even supposed to save for another baby so I'm gonna be getting rid of all of this which is stinks um, but we're not having any more kids and there's no one I can give this stuff to because you're not supposed to like interchange it anyway so it's all going away 
So I am currently going through my pumping bag and obviously I don't need anything in here because I'm no longer pumping or providing any sort of breast milk. So I'm ready to go through this, get rid of anything that doesn't need to be in here and then donate this bag. I think it's hilarious the amount of um, like breast pads I had in there because I never had to use any of these. I have gone through everything. This is what I'm gonna be putting back into my closet, which um, isn't really too much. And then I have this whole pile, which is gonna be all donations and um, a few things I know I'm gonna be giving to some people, like some breastfeeding supplies, um, different stuff like that. But uh, this is all trash, so I have a huge trash bag full of things in there and um, like a half full one. So I am super proud of myself for the amount of stuff I was able to go through and clean out of my closet. I always think taking everything out is harder than putting it back in. So especially since I kept everything grouped together already, it was so easy to just bring everything back in here. I also like that bringing things back into a completely empty space gives you an easier opportunity to rethink a better solution for where to put certain items. So I have plenty of space in here for hanging items. If I didn't, I would definitely take off all of my sweaters and fold them for the rest of the summer until winter when I needed them. I folded my like holiday shirts. So these are all my Christmas shirts. These are all my Halloween shirts. As you can tell, I love Halloween. And I'm gonna get bins for these eventually, but for now I'm just gonna place them on top of my closet just like this. Here is the final result of cleaning out my closet and it is just so much more functional in here. Everything is cleaned out. I can actually walk in here, which is the absolute best. Decluttering my next space here, which will be our living room. It is the entryway into our home. It's also the area that we spend the most time in as a family. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I just like working from top to bottom in spaces. So I'm gonna start by taking everything off the top of these bookshelves. So I think for the longest time, like I would just buy these faux plants because they were like the most affordable ones and still looked realistic. If I put any real plants on here, they're definitely gonna die. <laughs> but um, this one I'm ready to donate because I'm just tired of looking at the grass. These are serving no purpose up here. <laughs> they're like the corners for furniture for baby proofing and my toddler just tears them all off. Just taking all that unnecessary decor like down from there has made this space already feel so much cleaner. So I'm gonna take down these picture frames next. Okay, so I don't wanna live in like a completely stale, boring home either. So I do already have two frames that I will be putting side by side here and just keeping it simple. Whatever I was doing or trying to do before, I just feel like it was too much. There was too much to look at. It kind of overwhelms you when there's that many things right there next to each other. So I think just having two frames right next to each other that are nice and big will look so much better. Okay, so I'm gonna continue my like top to bottom approach here. So I'm gonna take everything off of these shelves, especially since I have things just like tucked behind here that I don't need. It's just gonna be really good to completely empty these and then go through everything and decide whether or not I need it or if I don't. So from like here down, it's all like kids books because this is where Owen and Cecilia can reach and um, typically we don't want them reaching our books because like Owen will rip pages out and different things like that. So anyway, um, I'm going to stick with just my husband and I's books first, go through those and then go through Owen and Cecilia's books. So initially I had organized my husband and I's books all by rainbow order. It's the home edits organizational programs way of doing it, but I actually didn't really find that it was very functional. It looked nice, but the functionality was not there. So I will be completely redoing those after getting rid of all the books that we do not need anymore. More stuff just shoved behind other stuff, like why? 
Okay, so these are all of my husband and I's books right here, so I'm gonna go through them. I'll probably make a pile of books that I think he's going to keep and what books that I think he's gonna get rid of or would be willing to get rid of, and then I'll have him go through those piles as well. But I'm definitely gonna be getting rid of quite a few of my books. went through all the books so these are all of my books that I will be donating and then this is the pile of books that I will be keeping these are all my husband's so it was harder for me to determine what I thought he would or wouldn't get rid of so I'm just gonna have him go through them really quick and see what he wants to keep so while he goes through his books I'm gonna show you what I like to do for pieces of paper with drawings or pictures or anything I just take a picture of it and then I'm ready to get rid of it. My husband went through his books, so these are all the ones he opted to keep and these are the ones that we will be donating, so that's at least a little bit of progress. This is my donation pile so far, so I'd say that's pretty good, especially since this came off of the bookshelves. Okay, it is time to go through Owen and Cecilia's books and I actually have a fantastic idea for how I'm going to rotate out their books so they're just not as overwhelming right here in our living room and Owen won't have the ability to just tear them all down and make a mess. So I'm going into Cecilia's room so that I can show you my idea here. I recently decluttered her entire room and her closet and even mentioned in that video that I wanted to get rid of this bookcase. So instead of getting rid of it, I'm actually going to put it here in our closet, Cecilia's closet. And I'm going to put all of the books outside in the living room on to this bookcase. I will keep maybe 15 to 20 on the bookcase out in the living room, but all the other ones will be locked in this closet and I will be able to rotate them out. I've just been reading how beneficial it is to have fewer toys and books out for kids because they will play with them so much better when they aren't as overwhelmed with the amount of things that they have either. So just like us, we get overwhelmed with the amount of things in our house, kids do too. And instead of getting frustrated that Owen and Cecilia cannot manage the amount of stuff that I have for them, I'm taking it into my own control and making it easier on them because they are just three and one and they still need to learn how to manage their toys. So as I take the books out, I'm actually organizing them. So we have lots of like little critter books or Clifford books, Bear Stain Bears, or now Cecilia is getting into the easy reader books. So instead of them all being jumbled together, I'm going to organize them onto the bookshelf in Cecilia's room and it's going to be super easy for me to rotate them out. So I actually went through and organized all of the kids' books. So any of the ones like the Bear Sting Bears Clifford, um, we have a whole bunch of Critter books, and all those are Peppa Pig. All of these right here are Easy Readers, and I organized those as well. So I grouped anything that I could together, and now I'm going to show you where I will be putting them. Really dark in here, so I'm sorry if this video is super hazy, but while the books are out of rotation, this is where they will be living inside Cecilia's closet. So they're nicely organized in here so that I can easily take out whatever books and rotate them out in the living room. I always find it so satisfying to dust and clean off empty spaces. Get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky. Okay, because I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible, I'm going to try to put everything back onto the bookshelves that I decided to keep and then I will tackle the center console. So I haven't quite decided like exactly how many books to keep out here for kids, but I did decide that it's gonna be limited to just these two shelves. And I'm gonna have this basket on one of the shelves. So this is gonna be their like pickup basket so that Cecilia can start learning how to pick up after herself. So usually there's some toys throughout our living room that she will um, play with and then she will be able to bring them, put them in this basket, and then I'll be able to sort them back into her playroom or wherever they need to go until I get that organized so that it's easier for her to do that. But anyway, this is going to be their put back basket. Limiting it to just these two shelves made it so much easier to pick up their books. Cecilia can actually put them back on her the shelf like by herself, and it's just not as overwhelming anymore. All 
Okay, so I'm thinking that I'm going to designate these shelves. So this one, all three of these will be for my books and then my husband's will go on those three over there. Okay, so I really wanted to start using some frames with pictures of like family or different things. So I wanted to make sure that I have space on these shelves for frames. So these are gonna be the first thing I put up here. I'm done living life with I also wanted the top shelf to be the shelf where I put any books that I want to read currently. So they're really easy to see and I know exactly where they are and I feel like I'll be much more likely to pick them up and read them. This plant actually came from our laundry room. It is a faux plant because if there were any live plants on these shelves, they'd probably die. So um, that's where I got this pot from. And I like it a lot better here. Okay, something I've always wanted to do was um, something I had seen on like, I don't know, a reel or something, but um, this is just a lamp that I got from Target. It's like their threshold collection. I ended up, um, I didn't want to clip the wire. I see a lot of people do that, but I left it here and I just hid it inside. So I'll show you. So I have it hidden inside and then I put a touch light on the top. Just like that. So that I can put it right here on the shelf. So I need to find my third and fourth Harry Potter books. Um, I love them. I'm never going to get rid of them. I think I let somebody borrow them, so maybe I have to repurchase them. But um, this one always bothers me because it's not the same height as all the other books. But the reason behind that is because it is bold text but it is actually signed by the illustrator. So 100% think it's worth it being a different height than all the others. So the other shelf for all of my books. So these three will be my husband's. I tried to group some of his books together. So like all these are kind of American patriotic books. I really just wanted more greenery on these shelves. I just feel like it brings so much more life into a space. My husband has very large books like this one. So I decided instead of stacking them on top of each other because I feel like we don't ever pull them out when they're like that. So I rearranged the shelves so that I could put these vertically and it's so much easier to like pull them in and out. And I'm just using a couple bookends to hold them in place. I work out in our living room most mornings and I used to keep this stuff right here and it just kind of looked very cluttered. So I made sure to leave a space here for my yoga mat. Now that I have both of my bookshelves nicely organized, decluttered, and how I like them, I'm going to tackle our console here. This stuff all came from the shelves, so I'm going to make sure they have a place inside here because this is kind of the area I designated for all of our games. This side is video games, and this side is board games, so I'm going to make sure all this stuff fits in there. I'm going to start by kind of <laughs> decluttering these spaces. So I decided to keep all of our consoles and things on these three shelves right here. So I'm taking out some of the scrapbooks that I had there and just different things that didn't need to be there. I'm just going to dust everything off. The Xbox I would love to keep in the cabinet, but it needs a lot of airflow when it is being played. So it stays right there in the center. And inside these cabinets, it just needed a lot of help. There are DVDs in here that we no longer pull out because everything is just streaming online now. I'm so happy we live in the day and age where we don't have to keep a ton of VHS tapes or DVDs anymore. So my goal here is to make it easier for us to pull out games if we want to play them. So like GameCube games, a lot of the times that we would be totally willing to play these if it were just really easy to just pop one of these discs in to the, um, the player and then play it. Um, so I'm going to make sure our GameCube actually has a spot now on one of these shelves. 
so that it's already plugged up and ready to go. And then the other thing with like our Oculus is we don't really have a designated spot for it to charge right now. And what I'm thinking is I will actually leave it right here. And then there's actually holes in the back of our console. And I'm going to thread this through the back. That way it's always charging in here. I despise cords so much. So anytime I have an opportunity to hide them somewhere, I will totally do it. Another thing I've been seeing recently in like different videos that I like to watch is people will put a basket like on their nightstand and put whatever's charging inside that basket. And then there will be like little holes that you can actually thread your like phone charger or anything through there. So just some ideas for hiding cords for you. Much, much better. All our games are down here, controllers right here, and the Oculus is all right here with just my husband's headphones. All of these we are gonna be donating because we can just stream them or have them on Voodoo already. But I got everything off the top here. I fit it all in the cubbies down here. I also hid the cords a lot better. And in the past I had hid them and painted whatever cords were there the same color as the wall. So that's all nicely cleaned up. Okay, this side is for our board games. So I'm gonna go through these, make sure there aren't any that we don't play with anymore. Definitely get rid of like bookends and different things that do not need to be in here and so forth. We are definitely a board game family. We love having game nights in our home. So I feel like this cabinet is gonna be really hard for me to like keep under control. So right now I just had a whole bunch of games like piled behind each other. Like you could not see all of the games that were in there without taking a lot of them out first. So I am now making it so that you can see the face of every single game and I'm actually donating all the ones that we like no longer play. So I feel like I'm gonna need to do this on a regular basis, but it really didn't take me as long as I thought it would. And the result is just so satisfying. So up here is a game that is not ours. So I will send that back to its owner and I'm gonna be donating all of these games. We are not done yet, but I am so happy with how this is looking so far. I'm. Uh, keeping these two blankets, I decided just two is sufficient to keep out here. These two are winter blankets, so I'm going to put those in our linen closet. And then I'm going to clean out this back corner here really quickly. It was another area that was just kind of an eyesore. I had way too much packed back here. This is also where we keep our dog's crate on the other side of this couch. I went on dog hair. I just got on myself after taking that basket out. So these two pillows will be getting donated, as well as this blanket. I just do not use them anymore. I have plenty of blankets. And then this basket here is where I keep all of our like massaging stuff. So we have this gigantic foot massager. So it just looks a lot better in this basket right here rather than just out in the open. I wish it was just a little bit smaller so I could actually fit it on the shelves, but I cannot. So this is kind of my solution to that just rearranging it a little bit and it just looks so much better. Django's crate I just ended up putting in just a little further so you can't see it from this empty space right here and even just doing that made a huge difference. Everything I will be donating! So I got two pillows and a blanket here. We have all of our board games and children's books, some decor, more books, more books. DVDs and just a few different things here. These are also things that just need to go to um, somebody else's house. So happy with the amount of things that we will be getting out of our house. Today I'm gonna to be starting part three of my decluttering process throughout our home. I've done my master bedroom closet, our living room, and now I will be doing our master bathroom. I've been using the acronym KISS, which stands for keep it super simple to help me declutter my spaces. So I either use something and I'm gonna keep it. If I don't use it, I'm gonna get rid of it. Welcome to our glorious toilet room. I think it's called a water closet. And for whatever reason, I thought it was a good idea to put decor in here. It just gets covered in dust and who knows what. So I'm gonna be taking it out of here so that it's easier to clean. 
So all the decor in here actually came from our guest bedroom that was made into our daughter's room. So I never wanted to decorate as a nautical theme in here anyway. So I was really happy to take this decor out. When I officially decorate in here, I'll probably put something on the wall. Let me know what you think, but I'm definitely gonna get rid of one of these toilet wands and this toilet plunger because we already have one in our other bathroom. Now I'm gonna be going through our closet in here. These bins are organized in a way that it is actually holding everything that's supposed to be in there, but it's getting a little too full. I like starting at the top and breaking my way down. I think it just makes it an easy starting point to start up here. And I can already see a whole pack of nursing pads that I do not use and have not used for over eight months now. Okay, so I have a whole set of uh, CeraVe, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, face washing, cleansers, and creams. I actually broke out in a rash when I used this and I didn't return it in the amount of time that I should have. So it's just been sitting in my closet, basically unused. So for products like this, I actually found a buy nothing group in my area and you can search for them on Facebook and you can basically list anything that you just want to give away and somebody can come and pick it up. This closet actually goes up pretty high so my way of utilizing this space in here was putting this cubby in and it really has helped with some of the story this is the bin i know i really need to go through Ooh. so i put down this blanket in here because it's really echoey and i thought it would help with it just a little bit um, but it also makes it a little bit more comfortable to go through all these bins that i know i'm going to need to do so about a year and a half ago, I actually went through our entire bathroom, decluttered it, organized it, but not to this extent. I'm like being ruthless this time around with the amount of things that I'm keeping and getting rid of. I cannot remember the last time I used a lot of these nail polishes, so I know a lot of these are gonna be going. I think these are from when I was like 12. So I'm literally going through everything like one by one and asking myself if I will use this item. I'm also checking if they're dried up. This one's really old and it's completely separated, but it actually looks really cool. These are basically all the boxes now that are empty. And then these are all nail polishes that are dried up and I'm just never going to use. Okay, so I was just trying to fit things like back in here and I wasn't really liking how it was fitting, especially since this uh, like tote is just so big and bulky and it doesn't really need to be because I have everything light like, laying flat. So I went through my pantry and actually found this guy. So I think I'm going to place all these upright and then I'll be able to see the color through the clear side. Every time I go through a space, I always find better solutions for storing different items. I also think the more times that you go through a space, you're more likely to get rid of more things because you're more conscious of what you haven't used. I knew this bin would take me a little while to finally get to a point that I'd be happy with it. Here's my clear bin with all my gel nail polish. I can see all the colors right there on the side. I also have my regular nail polish. This is my UV light, my tools, my foil, and everything to remove. Move on to our next bin. And I actually have for all of our cleaning stuff. It's actually not too bad in here. I definitely don't need two rinsing cups in here, so I will get rid of, rid of one of those. Got our Clorox wipes in here. These, I can already feel it, are like dry inside, so I'm gonna toss that. And this is just the toilet wand. So that one was pretty easy. If you are crunched for time and you really want to declutter your home, try to do just one shelf a day or one drawer, whatever it is. Five minutes of decluttering can go a long way. Okay. This is another ugly one. This one I keep all of our first aid stuff. So I definitely need to take everything out of here and rework this and get rid of anything we don't need. So I got these bins from Target and I absolutely love them. They have really helped keep this closet organized. I definitely had too much stuff in them and have packed too much in them, but that is why I'm going through it now. Don't think I need this many gauze pads, so I'm trying to decide what ones to get rid of here. Why do they leave so much room inside these band-aid boxes? Oh my gosh. This was unopened and 
That's how much room they take up in there. So I have all of our band-aids nicely contained in this smaller box. <laughs> Da, da, da. So much better, so much cleaner, so much easier to get to everything. The trash that I got out from that bin, and then I actually got a couple things that I'm donating, like that tote, and then I'm not sure, like, do no donation places need stuff like this? I guess I can try. This is actually making it so easy going through each of the bins, like, one by one. It's nice that they're already organized like this, so I had done this the last time I organized and decluttered in here so that was about a year and a half ago okay so go through this i'm gonna make sure i get rid of anything that's expired i also see some stuff from when i was pregnant in here that i don't need anymore so that's ready to get out so like i said earlier i decluttered this space like a year and a half ago and i definitely was not as thorough when i did it then as i am now i am literally checking every single expiration date and i had stuff from like 2016 it expired in 2016. here is everything that has expired the tylenol i've been using expired in 2019 so no wonder i still have headaches and then where is it oh the tea tree oil <laughs> actually expired back in 2016 so i think it's time to get rid of this so here's how i decided to do our medicine and it is so much better after just getting rid of all the expired stuff. We are on our second day of being able to work on this now, so let's get started. I'm hoping to knock out a lot. Okay, this one is my travel supplies. I do what I can during my kids' naps, and that is only an hour and a half every single day. So a little progress every day is better than none at all. How many things of almost empty deodorant do I need? <laughs> So in this basket, I already have like these two little organizers in there to kind of hold things together. Here's everything I'm deciding to keep. And then at my hospital, we love giving these little samples out to like patient families. So that's where I'm going to give these because I don't need them anymore. And then this is my toss pile. And here it is nicely put away. Hair supplies. And I know there's a lot of stuff in here I don't use. It's not too terrible, but it definitely needs to be like taken care of products that i have had for years that i never use so i'm going to be tossing those and then everything that's left that i will be using is in here this next bin is pretty full and it's what i labeled as body supply does anybody even use body mists anymore anyone <laughs> stretch mark cream another body mist that i will never use Oh, it smells like a 16, 17 year old Shelby. I never wear perfume. People gift me these things sometimes. These are from a really long time ago too. I'm pretty sure this isn't even supposed to be a yellowish color. So I think it's time to get rid of these. So as you can see, there are still a lot of things in here that I should have gotten rid of a year and a half ago when I decluttered in here last time. This time around, I'm truly asking myself if I would use it. Pregnancy tests. Are they even good? Fired in 2022. Our keep and toss. Lotion that I will never use. I do use this when I take a bath. I have a bath bomb, so I definitely need to take a bath so I can use this. <laughs> and then I love Epsom salt soap. So I don't like to keep anything on the bottom of this closet because that's just where dust and dog hair like to accumulate. And apparently everything I don't need anymore. <laughs> Empty, cleaned out closet. So much better. Okay, so now we're gonna go to my husband's side. So my side is over here. I have a little bit more cabinets. And then this is my husband's. So um, let me show you how this is. We have an empty drawer and this one is our hair cutting stuff for my husband and then this one up here probably isn't you know that awful i organized it a little while ago and clearly he's still using these bins pretty nicely i'll still clean this up 
but clearly I'm the problem. It's me. I'll show you these drawers later. Here it is just after cleaning out the bins and straightening up. I didn't even move any of these because my husband has his own system. I really like keeping it too much under our sink, but this one's basically for our dog. We have a whole bunch of old towels here that we dry him off with, and then this is an air dryer for him as well. So yes, we use all of these towels. He's a 90 pound dog and holds a lot of water. A few decor pieces here in the window that um, I'm not very fond of anymore, and I wasn't really going for the nautical theme in here in the first place, since this was all just decor that came from our um, like guest bathroom and guest bedroom. Um, so I'm gonna get, don't need all this. I worked my way over to my side, and this one I haven't touched since I last organized. <laughs> So guess what is all going out of here? It's all like really old makeup. Like I wouldn't even consider donating it or giving it to anybody. So I'm just gonna briefly look through it to make sure it's not something I would use. And after I was done cleaning out this drawer, I actually left it completely empty. And I'll share later where I put my makeup. This next drawer here, I actually shoved a bunch of cotton balls in. I'd gotten all of these from a project that I did for Christmas. So I don't need all of these. So I will be donating those. I might just keep one pack. The rest of this actually isn't bad. This I'm gonna put with our body care in our closet. This is old, so I will toss that. This one is like a really old too. It says 2016, so I don't know if this is from 2016 and I still kept it, but I never use it, so I'm gonna toss that. Take off mask, I don't really like these anymore. Now I have a whole bunch of these empty containers. There's even one just sitting inside this one. I got these containers from Target. They have a few different colors too. On to our next. This one isn't too bad because we use it all the time, um, but I'm gonna go through it. Like, don't need these. These are for my mouth guard that doesn't fit me anymore, so I will definitely be tossing all of those. Ta da! Everything we use, everything we don't use, and this expired back in 2018, so that's gonna go bye bye. And that is my retainer. That is a gross and I will never be putting that back in my mouth. Under our sink, you can see it's pretty empty. I like to keep it empty mostly because of reasons like that. Sometimes things just drip down from the drain. This is empty, so I'll be donating this because we never use it. I used to be obsessed with boxes, so I used to get things like this all the time. So, so far we have two bags of trash. We are on day three, nap three, and I am bound and determined to finish this off here. In an ideal world, I would have been able to knock all of this out in one day easily, but I have two kids and the rest of the house to like maintain and take care of. So we do what we can with the time that we are given. This drawer right here is all of my hair care stuff. Honestly, it's not too bad and these containers have helped a lot with keeping everything um, contained and organized, but I do need to take care of it a little bit. The few things in here I don't use anymore, like these from COVID, you could hook your um, mask on so it didn't hurt your ears. So I am going to be donating these because I can't see myself using those anytime soon. Here's that final look in this drawer, everything that I do use or will use, and then everything that I don't use that came from this drawer is right here, and that will not be staying in this bathroom. I don't know if I showed you guys this drawer yet, but it just has like my hair dryer and hair straightener and everything. It's not pretty, but I do use everything in that drawer. And now I'll be going through this drawer really quick. Um, a lot of the stuff that's supposed to go in here is actually on the counter. So I'm gonna be reworking this and thinking of something that can work a lot better for me. I definitely wanna get rid of this whole setup that actually came from our guest bathroom, replacing it with something that is more functional. I also need to go through all of these little drawers because it's just packed with stuff. And I can't remember the last time I wore a lot of the things that are in here, so. put everything that we use on a regular basis right here. That way it's like easy to pull out. 
And now I'm going to be working on all of this. Okay, so I've already noticed that when I went through the drawer like down there with all the makeup in it, I saved a few things because I got these when they were on sale because I thought they were super cute. Um, but I still haven't used them and I probably won't. So I really need to just chop it up and get them out of here. Judge me, I haven't cleaned this out in a long time, but I'm gonna spray that down with some multi-purpose spray, clean that out. I really need to clean my brushes too, but that's a whole different thing. Um, and then here's everything I do use or will use. And then these are everything that's like empty or I won't be using or is old. Close and fit everything in here now, and it's everything that I do use. Mr. Owl, what do you got in here? What a bunch of just junk. Really old earrings that I will never use. Look at how tarnished these are. I will not be putting that back in my ear. Ones are definitely from high school. <laughs> you guys ever have these? This is like an old friendship charm like somebody has the other half of this one a really old clip that is like tarnished <laughs> there's just so many random things in here <laughs> had this bag for a really long time too and i've gone through it in the past it's been a really long time since i've actually gotten anything out of here these are all just really old bracelets that i would have worn a really long time ago i made this one it's actually pretty cool but I do not have any use or need for it, so I think it's time to say goodbye to these. Okay, so this is just packed with a bunch of jewelry bracelets and things that I don't use either, so I'm going to go through this quickly. Whatever I use, I will keep, and whatever I don't use, I will not be keeping. So clearly I'm not a huge like jewelry person or makeup person, so I'm sorry I don't have very good like organizational tips for those kind of items other than just get rid of whatever you don't use. Completely empty. As you can see, I'm not a huge jewelry person, but this is everything that I do wear and will keep. And then this is everything I don't wear and it is ready to be parted with. So I am in no longer need of this. I've decided to put all of my necklaces and earrings here and then my rubber rings for work right here. So it's all right there and easily put away. Okay guys, I need your opinion now. So this is something I kind of put together because it's everything that I use on a regular basis. Like once if not twice a day. So it always ends up sitting out on the counter anyway. I never put it back in the drawer or anything. So should I leave it in that or this round one that I used to have here? I really can't decide if I like this one or not. I also have a third option here for you. So this one I'm leaning more towards. It's a basket and I like how it's kind of like hiding everything. My makeup bag does not fit inside, so let me know what one you think I should do. So here's everything that will be making its way out of our bathroom. Literally, you have no idea how much you have until you go through it. It's just absolutely insane. This has been incredibly refreshing. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting here in Cecilia's room. About a month ago, I had actually done a really good declutter in here. I mostly focused on her closet and it was so full that you couldn't even walk in there. So that video is fantastic. Definitely check it out. So for this video, before I go tackle Owen's room, I'm going to go through Cecilia's dresser here. Okay, so before I got started, I made sure to wash all of her clothes and we're not gonna have any surprises later. So um, I'm gonna go through her dresses really quick because there are so many in here that are way too small for her now. I feel like going through our kids' clothing is a task that we tend to put off a lot of the time, and in reality, it's really not going to take us that long, and it just makes the day-to-day -day life so much easier. So when I decluttered our living room, I moved all of Cecilia's books into her closet here so I can rotate them out, and then here are her dresses, and then she has a couple of jackets. So these two drawers on either side are actually completely empty, so that is fantastic. I keep her diapers, wipes, and underwear in here, so I won't open that, but oh, um, we're trying to get her to stop sucking her thumb, so that's why those are in there. Anyway, I'm going to go through these four main drawers. 
lot of these are onesies and she's using the potty now so it's super difficult to use it when you are wearing a one piece pajama suit. So I'm going to be donating all of these. You can already see some Christmas PJs in here that I know do not fit her anymore. I'm pretty sure these are like 2T and she's a 5T now. So I found a super cute idea for all of their old Christmas PJs and I will share that for you. Um, but I'm saving these so that I can make it into that super cute tree skirt. So I think the hardest part about decluttering my kids' rooms is that I can only do it while they are awake. <laughs> and doing anything while they are awake, I am pulled away a thousand times, but of course you don't really see that with all the little snippets that I put together in this video. Her PJ sets, and then she likes to wear like PJ pants for her nap. So that is nicely decluttered. These are all the outfits that we will be donating and do not fit her anymore. Her down onto her shirts and pants. Owen and Cecilia are both 99 percentile in their height, meaning they are taller than 99% of kids their age. So we go through clothes so quickly. Her shirts and shorts that I cleaned too, so I'm gonna make sure I keep these all together. So I like to keep about a week and a half worth of clothes for them. I follow a lot of like minimalist mom groups on like Facebook. So this subject comes up a lot and I know a lot of moms keep a lot less than that, but I like to make sure we have enough for like an entire week if we are sick and I just cannot even get myself up off the couch. Sometimes that happens with these kids. We go places all the time and we get sick. I like to buffer myself for weeks like that. Sometimes we're just like super busy and I don't have the time to do laundry. So I keep about a week and a half. I think that is a good number to have for us. I kept this part in here because I just wanted it to be as realistic as possible. You're not always gonna have the perfect opportunities to sit there and declutter your home. Sometimes you just have to get in there, get dirty even when the kids are around so that you can get stuff done. So these bins I will link in the description because I love them so much. I've used them since Cecilia was born and she is three and a half now. She's wearing like size four or five tee, but these bins still fit her clothes really nicely. So in this drawer I just have her shorts and her shirts. The stuff that I will be donating from that drawer is right here. Next drawer down is actually where I keep her baby blankets. And then her sheets actually go right here. They're currently in the washer, but that drawer's not bad. Um, this last drawer here is all of her long sleeves. So I'm gonna go through this really quick. So we live in Florida, it's like 90 degrees outside 90% of the time. Um, so we really don't need that uh, many warm clothes. We go through spurts of it being cold, but literally it'll be like a weekend and then we're back up into the 80s. It doesn't stay cold for very long. I can already see a 3T in here and she is too big. Although this sweater looks really big for being a 3T. So I'll just have her try it on. I really think kids' clothing sizes are even worse than adult clothing sizes. Like if it's a different brand, they're bigger or smaller, just depending on where you get it from. everything I'm pretty sure she will fit into next year hopefully here's everything I will be donating because it will no longer fit her here's everything we have decluttered yeah! from her drawers yes it is and here's what I'm keeping just to make into that tree skirt but I think we did a really good job we are gonna be moving into Owen's room now he is about a year and a half we are so blessed that we have a toy room playroom is where we keep all of their toys like no exception so I'm gonna bring these back into there. The playroom is also a room I really need to declutter, but um, for now, I don't let them keep toys in their room. I know Owen soon is gonna be switching from like a crib to a toddler bed too. So I just want all the toys out of here before that happens. I know everybody is different. My kids will not sleep if there are toys in their room. So I always take them out. This basket down here is another like problem area in his room. It's just full of a bunch of stuff he doesn't need anymore. These were all um, like handmade burp cloths that someone in my family had made for me. I have somebody that is pregnant that I work with. So I'm going to give all of these to her so they will not go 
to waste. Blocks I will still keep because he plays with those, but they will go to our playroom. And then there's a bunch of just baby teething things in here, um, rattles and different things, but he has outgrown, so I won't be keeping any of these. This is his uh, like side saddle, and I do use this every once in a while, so this looks gonna be a high place for that, I guess, because everything else is coming out of here. Just have his dresser, which is jam packed, and he just got a whole new wardrobe. So I'm getting rid of like all of his onesies. I think he's done with the onesies, so we are going to shirts and shorts now. So this first drawer is just diapers, and then this one is like his changing pad covers, and um, that's the correct spot for them there. Oop. Love a bunch of burp cloths that we don't need anymore either. So these were handmade as well for Cecilia. And my kids spit up so dang much. So that's why I had so many burp cloths, but it's time to get rid of them. Now this drawer will be dedicated solely to wipes. Next drawer here is like the main reason why I wanted to declutter in here. So I'm gonna take everything out, put it on the floor, and then go through it there because it's going to be nearly impossible to go through it right here. All right, so any onesies that are in here are going to be out of here and I'm going to be replacing them with his new clothes that I just got. So I buy all of Owen and Cecilia's clothes secondhand from a store called a kid to kid near me. So you can buy and sell used clothing from this store and I completely recommend it. There's a whole bunch of them, different ones around different areas and not only is it a fantastic way to recycle, it is also so good when you are on a budget. So the same thing with Cecilia, I keep about a week's worth or like a week and a half worth of clothes for them. I know it can be really hard to limit the amount of clothes you get for your kids because they're relatively like inexpensive and it's so easy just to pick up an outfit here and there when you're out at the store. But when you limit it, it makes laundry so much easier to do. So when I keep just a week and a half worth of clothes for them, I can really stay on top of their laundry so much easier. Okay, so we have all of his shirts and all of his shorts. There are all the onesies and just different things that he has outgrown. I like to keep Owen and Cecilia's drawers very similar, so I know exactly where everything is. Um, so I'm gonna keep all the shirts here and all of his shorts right here. And I put his socks right here. So um, we are on to our next drawer. And this one is basically sleep sacks and PJs. I'm not sure what else is in here. It looks like a bunch of clothes that I've forgotten about. Okay, the smaller sleep sack he still, still wears. Um, so that's both of these. Big, like heavy duty winter ones. I don't think I've ever put him in because we live in Florida. And somebody else gave these to us. So um, I'm going to be giving them to someone else. A lot of these say 12 months on them, Owen. What's going on? Are you growing? Look at it. Yeah. I'm growing. You're growing too? Uh-huh. Okay, I have all of his PJs here and his sleep sacks. So he really only has like two sleep sacks that we rotate between. And these are mostly just for his naps during the day. And then at night he wears these like cozier onesies right now. Sacks fit pretty nicely in this smaller one. And then I think I want to minimize the PJs enough that they just fit into one of these sleeves. So we have a couple of Christmas PJs here and I have no problem with them wearing like Christmas PJs if they still fit throughout the year. Um, but he has so many PJs already that I think I'm gonna put these away for my tree skirt. So here are all of his onesies right here and his sleep sacks. Just in case you guys were wondering what Cecilia and Owen do while I'm decluttering the other room. I all is really growing here. I had no idea how much stuff I had and we still have a really full drawer down here to go through. 
This was a really quick declutter session for me and I'm still like in disbelief by how much I was able to get rid of out of these drawers in such like a short amount of time. It's really hard to declutter, especially with Owen and Cecilia up and around, but this just shows you like how much you can do if you really put your mind to it. So the store had mostly clothes that were too big for him. So a lot of these were from that. And these are long sleeve pants, long sleeve shirts that will probably fit him next winter. Everything I was able to declutter today, including Cecilia's clothes in that bag. So I think we did fantastic. I put up a poll asking you guys where you wanted me to declutter in our home next. The kitchen was number one. I've been putting off this area because I know it's gonna be huge. There are so many things in here I need to get rid of. I am still using the same acronym, KISS. Keep it super simple so that I don't overcomplicate things. If you use something, you keep it you don't use it, it's time to get rid of it. So my main goal is to actually get a lot of things off of our kitchen counters. But to do that, I need to go through all of our cabinets first so I can make some room. So I'm gonna start by going through our coffee bar here because I kinda consider this like an extension of our kitchen. So I wanna make sure that all of our coffee stuff is actually on our coffee bar. I do like to decorate this area, so I'm gonna keep the decor up because it is still spring and I'm still enjoying it. But I'm gonna get rid of all the mugs that we don't use. Some with all of our other mugs right now, and then I can decide what ones I'm gonna keep and what ones I'm gonna get rid of. So my husband and I are starting to try and like perfect our morning coffee. So we've been trying to do the pour over and perfect that method. I need to kind of rework it into this space. So basically what I think I've determined here is I'm gonna keep everything that needs to be plugged in right here and then all this stuff i'm going to find a spot for inside these cabinets as soon as i declutter the whole thing okay so our first cabinet here is packed <laughs> and there's a bunch of stuff in here i do not need a vase that was from last mother's day i'm just gonna donate it so somebody else can use it all these mugs that i just have shoved in here back there there's another one back there the biggest recommendation I have if you are short on time is just to do one cabinet or one drawer at a time. This tray I've had for I can't even remember how long and I've never used it. Like why do I keep things like this? Asking myself whether or not I'm going to use something has really helped me determine whether or not it's time to get rid of it. There are so many times I'm like, oh maybe I'll use it, but that is not what I'm going for. It's either a yes or a no. So all that I'm keeping in this cabinet that is staying so far is a small, medium, and large vase. And then ask me why in the world I thought I needed a like Costco size thing of to-go cups. I have no idea. We always use reusable ones now. So I'm going to bring those to work so that they can get used. And then I have a spot now for all of our coffee stuff. And here's everything I'll donate that was from that drawer. Uh, this is also on our table because my brother-in-law has claimed that, so we don't need that blender anymore. This was also in there, but I have new plans that I'll share with you later where I will be putting that. Da -da -da! So, so much better. And this is like our backup thing of coffee down here. We have been grinding like fresh whole beans now, so I'll be going through this drawer next. So a question that I think gets asked a lot about decluttering a space is actually just where to start. And I think the number one thing to do is just to start in your worst room. That way, once it's done, it only gets easier from there. And then once you pick that room, I just like starting from the top and then working my way down. So this was a cute little sugar jar that I thought would be really nice to keep on our coffee bar. We don't actually put sugar in our coffee, so I don't know why I really got it in the first place. So I'm gonna donate this. And any grounds that are like already opened and um, I know are pretty old. I'm gonna be um, using them in our garden because the coffee grounds are actually fantastic in your garden. Okay, so this is just our filters and our beans now. So we're gonna go down to our next drawer, which is pretty bad. So all of these are actually from when I had my hot cocoa bar for Christmas. So I'm not sure about all this chocolate. I have to look at the dates on it and see if it's still good or not. Um, but I actually forgot it was in here. So this is definitely not a good spot for this stuff. Okay, so this set in here actually came from my husband and I's wedding. Can't remember the last time we used these plates and these 
goals. I really wish I could go back and tell myself I did not need to put these on our registry. Here we are and hopefully somebody else can enjoy these. The drawer is now completely cleaned out. I literally have nothing that I'm going to be putting back in this drawer. The drawer is down. I'm pretty sure it's going to be extremely similar. Yes. These I don't use anymore. I actually got them as a gift. There's nothing inside of them. So it's time to get rid of them. And this is like a mat for underneath our high chair that I never use. We have another completely empty drawer. Uh oh. This drawer I keep all of our tablecloths in and um, this one I'll probably keep so I can use it as like a mat for my kids like painting and everything. So, but I'm gonna put that with their like painting supplies. I see some Christmas stuff in here. I'm gonna put this with my Christmas decor. I really put off sometimes just going through cabinets and drawers when in reality it's only going to take me a few minutes and it just makes our lives so much easier. So on this bottom drawer all I'm keeping is our big tablecloth and a table runner that I use on the coffee bar when it's not normally decorated. And our last cabinet here I just keep our water jugs in there. Here's everything out of that coffee bar that I will not be keeping. So I'm gonna find the before picture of this cabinet because it was really bad. So I went through it about a month ago and I'm still really proud of it. This cabinet actually looks really good. The rest of my cabinets definitely do not look this way. This is our baking cabinet and everything in here is everything I will use. We're gonna be going through our next one. Getting rid of these plates, we never use them get rid of those bowls we never use them and then I have a really good idea for all of our like plastic utensils and everything so this will be much better love the amount of space that I am like opening up as I declutter things and I'm trying my best to just focus on that like decluttering organizing takes a little bit longer and decluttering I'm literally just going through and trying to pick out the things that I don't use anymore I'm not done with this drawer for now and we're gonna go up here. Okay, this cabinet is a mess, but we keep like our alcohol in here and all of our like paper plates and napkins and silverware and different things. I will be sharing it later in this video where I end up putting all of our paper utensils and everything, but the alcohol is going to stay up here. I think this is a really good spot for it. This is just pretty simple. So we are done with this cabinet now. Well, this I just went through really quickly. So this is what I will be keeping. I have a different cabinet. I'm gonna be putting it in though. And then all of these are like a takeout silverware. Oops. And ask me why I, ha I have no idea why I kept it. Maybe I thought I'd use it, thought it'd be useful, <laughs> never use it. And then all of these are like sad excuses for napkins. I'll bring them to work so people can use them anyway, but I think they're more decorative than anything. This next cabinet here is like our spices and everything. And I've, <laughs> it's like two little Thanksgiving people in here. Put those away where they belong. Um, I'm not sure how much I can get out of here, but we'll see. I never really thought about it, but spices do expire. This one expired in 2020, so that was about three years ago. So I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by how much I'll be getting rid of. Here is what we are left with. I do have like this whole basket full of like seasonings. Okay, so for the rest of the cabinet, I basically just had to go through and find the expiration dates because this one expired back in 2021. Keeping that funny story on these, I get Walmart pickup orders all the time and sometimes I'll get the most random things inside those orders. So both of these came from that. Obviously I don't need them, so I need to get them out of here somehow. Okay, so now we're done with that one, we're moving on. Our next cabinet here is where we keep all of our cups. It's convenient because it's right next to our refrigerator. I think everybody's cup cabinet ends up looking like this at some point. Obviously we don't use any of those because they're so perfectly lined up right now. I'll be working on the counters as soon as I'm done with the cabinets. Um, but that's why they're a mess right now. I have a love-hate relationship with tumblers and turvises and anything that cannot go in the dishwasher. Like I love that they keep everything in nice and cold, but I do not love hand washing these things every single day. So the ones that I had for the kids, I actually got rid of. They don't care either way. So I'm keeping the ones that can stay in the dishwasher and then getting rid of the ones that I have to hand wash and it just takes up my time. Can't believe I still have like some shelf space there. Honestly, I'd probably get rid of all of that on the top, but my husband wants to keep it. So 
whatever it's way up there i only go for these items anyway and then here's everything we will be getting rid of i'm just basically working my way across here so now i'm going to take care of everything that just piled on top of our refrigerator and these two cabinets I want you when it's too dry. So, so this is all holding a droplets and oh my gosh i can't believe like i forgot this was up there I'm not even sure if these are still good. Are they still good? They're from like December, like it was a Christmas gift. Okay, I'm gonna try one and if it's still good, I'll bring it with me to work so that everybody at work can eat it. Um, I don't know, it's, it's been like four months. Mm. Oh yeah, we're so good. So this is everything that was on top of the fridge. We recently got the fly gun instead of this. I can never get flies with this, but I get every single fly with this one. So the cabinet above our refrigerator, we have a bunch of stuff that I don't use. So these are from Bush Gardens, a theme park here in Florida, and I'm pretty sure these are only good for like a year, so I'm gonna recycle those. Um, these are like popsicle makers, never really use them, so I'm probably gonna get rid of those. Oh, we have a hiding Bush Gardens. Gosh, I don't know how long I've had these. I don't think I'll ever use them. And then a very large thermos. This one we actually do use. So through this whole decluttering process, I've actually learned a lot about getting rid of stuff. And my favorite way to get rid of things now is my buy nothing group on Facebook. So you can search in your area for buy nothing and then your area's name group on Facebook. Basically list anything that you just want to get rid of otherwise these are just gonna go to waste making sure you stay oriented to where we are i'm staying with the upper cabinets so we have one random one over here that i'm gonna go through and honestly i think i'm gonna be getting rid of everything in here or at least almost everything in here the cabinet has been basically everything for owen and cecilia that was kind of like cluttering our pantry or cabinet or counter space <laughs> so um a lot of it i'm just ready to get rid of because they don't use anymore like all of these Owen doesn't use anymore. All the medicine I'm actually gonna put in their um, bathroom closet, which is locked. I have some uh, bigger plans for this whole cabinet. There's a bunch of baby food in here. Um, Owen was never really that into baby food, um, but I do have some friends at work that still have little babies, so I will just give all this to them. Okay, so I have this cabinet completely empty now, and basically everything here is gonna be leaving our house like we don't use it we won't use it we are done with the baby stage in our life i even have like accessories in there for like bottles and things that we don't even have anymore and then i'm gonna be doing something different with all of our supplements basically all of this i'm gonna be gifting to somebody that i work with all these bottles are basically like hardly used so i'm gonna see how I can donate these. I think I can just put them on the Buy Nothing page on Facebook. Here is our empty cabinet and I've basically decided that I'm gonna be putting all of our Tupperware and mixing bowls up there. There's also so many things in here that I would just wanna get rid of. The cabinet is so bad. So we, we go in this cabinet a lot um, because it's Tupperware. We almost go in it every single day. So these doors on the bottom are locked. So it makes it super difficult to get in and out of them, but it's like a must with Owen and Cecilia. So I'm gonna put everything in this upper cabinet. It's gonna make our lives so much easier. And then I have some better plans for this cabinet down here. Here's what I'm working with. I also have these things that came from in here. I was using them before. So I will show you what I come up with here in a little bit. I literally cannot describe how excited I am about this cabinet. This is gonna work so much better for us. I even took an account for like, we have eight of these. So I made sure everything is gonna fit when it is all put back, but the rest are like in the fridge and everything. So anyway, this is so much better. So. Here's everything I will be getting rid of. So all of this came from down here, new plans for down there, but none of this we use. So I'm gonna be getting rid of all of it. Okay, so this cabinet, I want to make all of our serving supplies because I don't use it as often as like our Tupperware. That's why I moved it. So I consider this kind of our serving ware. And then I also have what I consider serving supplies all in here and a couple of random things that I'm gonna put all together. So this is that bigger drawer that used to be all that Tupperware and now it's just all of our serving supply. It's getting dark. 
but I am completely determined to finish off this kitchen here. I have a completely empty cabinet now, so that is exciting. Okay, this is like our, I don't even know what you call it, utensil drawer. And I got these adjustable drawer organizers from Target. Um, I'm not sure how well they're gonna work, but I was hoping that they would save a little bit more space in here. I'm gonna see what I can do. I am already using um, these, which have been working really well. They're just really short. Um, and I got these ones from the dollar store. So everything in here we do use, and then these just, they're not gonna work on the door like I thought they would. And um, here's everything I'm getting rid of. The next drawer here is our silverware drawer, and there's a bunch of stuff, especially back here, that I need to get rid of. But I actually kinda want to put whatever we use in this knife block in there. A lot of these we don't use, like look at how dusty those are. That's how often we use a lot of these knives. So there are a few reasons I really want the knife block off the counter. The first one being Cece can reach it now. So it was sideways so that she couldn't just grab the scissors all willy nilly. So I wanted to just take out what we have or what we use and then put it inside of this drawer. I was also able to donate all the knives that we don't use to Salvation Army. Everything we use and then everything I am getting rid of. Our next drawer here will be super easy. I need to get a new oven mitt. This one's looking pretty rough. These ones were given to me as like a gag gift and they don't even work. They're super like, you know, cute, fun, but I do not use them. So it's time to get rid of those. Um, these two are kind of just extra too that I don't ever use. For here will also be super quick. It's where we just keep like our aluminum foil baggies, um, some cozies and clips. Anyway, there's some straws in here I know we never use, so I will get rid of all of these. Swinging around this way again. And this drawer is just all of our like kitchen towels, so that doesn't need to be done. This drawer though is really bad. I have truly been looking forward to getting this drawer done because it is so bad. So this drawer basically holds everything that is just really nice to keep really close in the kitchen, like a tape measure, a screwdriver, our razor blade. It is also locked, so Cecilia and Owen cannot get into it. Drawer is still pretty bad, but just going through like all the paper stuff helped a lot. So all of this is like tossed. This drawer is kind of our catch-all sometimes, like it's just super easy to just throw something in here, but I need to be better about that. That's something I need to work on personally. Like I need to stop just throwing things in here. I need to put them back where they either belong or get rid of them, you know, whatever it is. Something I read recently was the put down rule, like you don't just put something down, you put it back where it belongs instead of setting it there for some time later truly the epitome of a junk drawer. could probably toss everything in this and I wouldn't miss it. Goodbye. Junk. So here it is finished and it is everything that we use on a regular basis that is just really nice to have right here in our kitchen. So this just basically doesn't belong in there so I'm gonna put it back in its spot and then this is everything that's getting tossed out of that drawer. So going down from that drawer this one just has like our ninja in there. I'm gonna go through this really quickly. I just know I am ready to get rid of this. We don't need this bottle. Just wanna like quickly go through this because it's getting kind of late. Nothing fancy, but that is everything that we use. So that's under our sink. So we have two of these pans that we rarely use anyway. So I'm going to be donating one of these. I do wanna get something to maybe like mount these on the door here. I think that would work a lot better than them being all shuffled around here. I'm gonna focus on decluttering our counters next. So I got a few things to help with that. But first I wanna show you guys how much we got rid of today. Just absolute insanity. There is so much stuff here, guys. All of this is going to be leaving our house. There's no way any of it is staying. So I'm going to be focusing on our kitchen counters now, and I feel like this is actually going to go fairly smoothly. So I'm just focusing on what I can take off the counter here. I was leaving this up here because it was kind of just decorative, and it also hid the cord here for our warmer. But I think I'll put the warmer on our coffee bar. And I'm gonna put this cutting board with the rest of our cutting boards under here. This one's just, they're curved, they don't stay flat, and I thought they'd be a good idea because they take up less space. But 
they are really hard to cut on. So this is where I'm putting that cutting board. This is just where we can leave all of our pans. I do a lot of baking. I do like this being on our counter, so I'll leave that there. This, I did find a good spot for this. I'm just gonna go right up here with the rest of our spices. So it's still super easy to uh, grab and use. This, I was leaving on our counter because I wanted people to think it was more decorative than confuse it for like a cutting board. I do not want cut marks on this. This is like our charcuterie board. So I'm just gonna put it down here with the rest of our serving supply. Okay, next up is our toaster and I didn't even think about it until I started this whole decluttering process, but we have a toaster oven, which, you know, toasts things. And that stays on our counter. We use that because it's smaller than our huge oven. It uses so much less energy than our huge oven to make sure that we don't need this. I am going to put this in the bottom of our pantry and if we don't use it, I'll be able to donate it later. But that's just gonna give us that trial period to make sure that we don't need it before I get rid of it. So this tends to end up being our electronic corner because this is where we end up like uh, charging everything. So I think I might get like a basket so that it looks nicer over here. But for now, this is actually the only tablet my daughter uses. Um, so this, I might end up, I'm just gonna start charging it somewhere else, like in the playroom. And then this is actually just ready to be recycled. It's an older tablet. We have an empty counter space, guys. <laughs> I really need, we need to get like a backsplash. We've been talking about that for like the past six years that we've lived here. So our fruit basket, there's a few reasons I don't like it here on the counter. One is it's huge. <laughs> the other one is, the main reason is Cecilia always grabs it like this, takes out an apple, takes one bite, puts it back. So I love that she loves her fruit. I do not love that she takes a bite and puts it back all the time. So I got these off of Amazon and I'm gonna mount them here. I ordered, I'll put a picture of them, these hooks that hold up 22 pounds, I think. These ones only hold like maybe five, if any, but I just want to get them on the wall so I can see how they look and show you guys because they don't come until tomorrow and then that's when this video is going up. This is a paper towel holder that can mount on the bottom of a cabinet or on the wall, but uh, my husband and I determined we're gonna keep this because it's just nice to be able to move it around wherever. So this is what our fruit will look like now. So all this counter space is now completely empty and it's all up off the counter. It's gonna be so much easier to clean underneath it now. And um, again, these are just so that you can see what it's gonna look like. I don't want to drill into these cabinets. So the 22 pound hooks are coming tomorrow. So again, I just did that so that you can see what it's gonna look like. Today we're gonna to be going through all of our seasonal decor. So I have a lot of decor and I need to go through it. So I'm gonna bring you guys over to where the closet is so I can show you what we're working with. All right, so this is Owen's room. He is about one and a half. Anyway, his closet is where I keep all of our seasonal decor. His room used to be like our storage and then we transferred it into a nursery. So here's the closet that we are working with. And there are bins behind this stuff as well. There's so much in here. So I'm gonna take everything out of here and then I'll show you real quick where I will be bringing it because I'll have to go through a lot of this while Owen is sleeping. So obviously I can't be working on this while he's trying to nap. So here is our dining room and I just put all of our chairs against the wall. So I'll be working a lot in here. This is kind of what I do whenever I'm decorating for Christmas or anything anyway, but I'll be able to put a lot of the bins on the chairs and on the table, so I'll be able to go through them without like wrecking my back. This is everything that I have taken out so far, so any of the loose items that have been sitting in the closet, I started by just laying them out here on the table, and then I just have a lot of the bins sitting on the side. This thing is so dang heavy, so it's just gonna be staying there until I go through everything. So this is, you can kind of see all the rest of the bins and everything that are in here. I'm sweating and out of breath right now, but we have everything off the floor here and now I just gotta get the rest from up here. So here is our completely empty closet. It's all clean in here, mama. Yeah, it's all clean in here. I'm trying to brag a little bit on my Tetris skills because all of this I like somehow got to fit into that closet. Isn't that just insane? There's so much stuff here. 
So I think this is the point where a lot of people tend to get overwhelmed when they're decluttering spaces. Why in my previous videos I've done just like one section at a time or like one cabinet, one drawer because it's just so much more manageable in my opinion. But in today's case, this was my only option. So the best way to actually just go through all this is to pick a side and start your way over. Don't get too overwhelmed by it. Don't think about it too much just start and I'm using the same acronym so I don't overthink everything and it's KISS. Keep it super simple. If I use something, I will keep it. If I don't use it, I'm getting rid of it. So all these bags and wrapping paper, I'm actually going to be moving into our bedroom. They just weren't working in Owen's closet because the only time I have to wrap a present is when he's sleeping. So I'm going to be putting them in my closet so that they're easier to get to. So I will also be decluttering our master bedroom. So when I film that video, and declutter, I'll show you what I'm going to be doing with the wrapping paper. So definitely don't miss that video. So I'm going to go through this. This is my Easter bin. And then I have all this Easter stuff on the table. I already know these are going to be donation. So I'm going to start my donation pile over here in the living room. These are all the Easter eggs that we have just gathered through the past three years. These ones in the Walmart bags I'm going to be trying to donate. And then these are the ones we used this year. So I'm going to keep reusing these ones so that we can just keep recycling them. When an area gets so disorganized, you end up like buying things you don't really need. So I have ended up with just a bunch of different um, like basket stuffers because I thought I needed some and I didn't. It was just buried on top of everything. I do have all my spring decor out right now, but that'll have to go in another bin. This is going to be just like strictly my Easter stuff. All of decor is going to end up taking up this entire console and most of this floor. You can just already tell this is, we are just getting started here. So I'm going to start by going through all my minor holiday decor first. For minor holidays, I try to limit myself to just one bin. For fall and Christmas, I go all out and I really enjoy it. I use all the decor too, so I don't limit myself as much with the major holidays. Okay, so I've kind of made it a rule that basically anything with like handprints or footprints I keep of my uh, kids like drawings and different things, but anything else I just take pictures of and that's how I remember it. Handprints and footprints, I just, I cannot give up. All right, we are gonna be getting to the good stuff like fall and Christmas, but Valentine's really wasn't that bad. I had a few things that I just needed to toss. But Valentine's Day is really just like a holiday that I recently started like decorating for, so I'm not too surprised that this wasn't too bad. Go through 4th of July now. So all this 4th of July stuff is actually brand new. I bought it last year when it was like 80% off at Hobby Lobby. So I got some really good deals and a lot of times that just gets me in trouble because I cannot pass up a good deal. But I did really need this decor. <laughs> And I just know things will never be the same. Like everything in here is everything that I've had for a while. And I'm not even sure what's in here because I don't think I decorated last year because Owen was just like a little newborn baby. Okay, so any pillows that I have, I'm going to be putting into vacuum seal bags. I got these ones off of Amazon, so I will definitely link them in the description. I used them in the past. I have a lot of them in our master bedroom. Um, these ones are pretty big, but they're the only extra one I have right now. So I'm going to put both of these in here and see how much extra space I can save. You said we'd get so high, higher up than heaven. You said we'd reach the stars. That saved a lot more room. I think I'll be able to, yeah, I can fit it everything inside this bin now. That is insane. I just love how many things are in closets that you don't even use. So this is my old sewing machine and my mom gave it to me because she got a new one. And then she got an even newer one so she gave me her other one. So I'm using a newer, um, better one now. This one's really old. 
and um, but it still works. So I'm gonna donate it or list it on like my buy nothing group or something. Is your sign telling you you do not need to keep those boxes in your closet? I'm going to be um, recycling these ones and then this one I'm gonna donate. Okay, I'm getting into our fall stuff now and I've had this hay bale for too long because I actually got two of them and the first one I used, the hay got everywhere and it drove me insane. So I have not used this hay bale and I will not because it like just is not practical. It looks cool but I hated it so much. I got this stuff because it was on sale and I probably got it like five years ago and I still haven't used it for anything. So I'm gonna give these up. They're taking up so much space too. So I don't really find it necessary to organize my bins other than like um, having like fall in the same bin and Christmas in their own bins because I end up just laying everything out on the table. Like I take everything out of the boxes so I can see it and then I decorate. So putting everything like organized in boxes doesn't work for me and I'm limited on space. So basically just <laughs> playing a big game of Tetris works best and I'm able to store as much decor in a small amount of space as possible. I haven't been too excited about putting these pillows out anymore. This one is my absolute favorite. I'm gonna keep this one probably forever, but now I have room to actually store it in here without even using an airtight bag. So this is everything I've gone through so far that will be going back into the closet and then everything I'm donating. So this pile is growing and growing. This is all the fall stuff that I was able to get rid of. Halloween, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'm hoping I can get this down to just one bin. Definitely let me know in the comments how much holiday decor do you have? I am so curious. I think I go a little bit over the top sometimes but then I see some other people that have way more than me so I think I'm like in the middle. Happy, I'm able to basically put all of my Halloween stuff in here now with the exception of this blanket but I think that's pretty good considering both these bins were completely packed before. Okay, so I'm finding that the easiest way to go through everything now that I have like an empty bin is to just uh, go through the bin that's full and empty it into the other bin. That way I'm not taking everything out and putting it all back in. Got a lot of extra room in this box just by going through all the lights that don't even turn on anymore. These are all just empty boxes that I'll recycle to. I took a lot of them out just because it took up so much less room. So I definitely recommend going through your decor anytime you're about to put it away for the year. So for like Christmas last year, Right before I put it away, I was able to see everything that I had, everything that I didn't use. So anything that I didn't use, I automatically, like basically just gave it away. And here is everything I will be donating or giving away. I have no use for any of these items anymore. They do not need to be cluttering up our limited <laughs> supply of space. This is all recycling and trash. So I'm so happy to get all of this out of here. Okay, so here we are before putting our last pieces in. So I just wanted to show you guys how I have all the Christmas right here. And then I have the big green bins that'll go in front of it. So you won't be able to get to these, but it's all Christmas. So it'll all come out at the same time anyway. And then I have all my fall and Halloween and then all the minor holidays right here. So this is just gonna be <laughs> so much more functional. As for that giant Christmas tree that was in here, we actually got that last year, so it just became a problem this year when I tried to fit it into the space, but ultimately I decided to bring this thing to our garage. We're starting a part seven of my decluttering series and it's gonna be the laundry room. So let me show you what you're working with. Help orient you guys if you've seen my last videos, but this is where our laundry room is. So it's kind of got this walk through into the garage. We have this whole closet here that I need to go through and just clean out. It's gonna be so refreshing. The other areas we have in here that I need to go through are all of these hooks with all these bags. I have this shelf system here, this whole shelf, and then there's just a bunch of stuff in these cabinets too that I need to go through. The first thing I actually wanna share with you guys is this amazing tool that I had gotten off of Amazon a couple years ago. The dryer is like one of the number one areas of like house fires and that's because the lint just gets so built up in there. So this is the area that we will be cleaning out and I do, after every single load, 
clean this out and throw it out. But there's still so much lint that gets trapped inside your vent area. So this is the area I think a lot of people can see and they vacuum out just fine. But then if you just look a little further, you can see exactly where that vent goes. And look at how lined it is with just gunk and lint. And that is not what we like to see. All right, so I just have my vacuum plugged in here. And then this end is compatible with, I think, most vacuums. So you just pop it on just like that. And then you're able to use this to guide it down inside the hole. So every opportunity I have, I always share this tool because it is so helpful. It is recommended to do this area at least every six months and then the rest of your dryer vent to do at least every year. I'm putting my hand here for scale, but that is all the lint that I got out of that area. It's because that front area was so bad, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this tool as well. And this is what you can use to clean out the whole vent system that goes to the top of your roof or wherever it is in your house. Most people actually get this professionally done. I do it myself. I'll link the video if you want to watch it to see how to do it exactly, but it's super easy. And I'll show you how much lint and dust I get out. I love doing things like this on my own when I can save money for my family, especially since this is actually extremely easy. I think anybody can do it. And this is the area that you do every year. So this was actually six months worth of lint that had built up in there. So now I'm gonna go through the closets and cabinets and just empty everything out. I've been using the acronym KISS, keep it super simple. So I either use something and I will keep it or I don't use something and I'm gonna get rid of it. As I take everything out, I will be either trashing it, donating it, or um, keeping it. Everything that I keep will be staying on the dining room table and then it'll be easy for me to just put everything back where it belongs. Okay, so this bin is actually all of our batteries and I think like flashlights. This is pretty big, so I'm gonna go through it right here rather than in a, the uh, closet just because I'm gonna need more space. Does anybody else keep old gloves for cleaning dirty things? I go a little overboard and just keep them all. All right, our next little basket here are brushes. So please tell me how many toothbrushes you have to clean with. And I'm pretty sure I only really need one. Light bulbs. I feel like this one is just, it looks so bad because the packaging for light bulbs is always gigantic. All right, we had kept the boxes for these because we wanted to make sure they still worked and they do. So I'm gonna toss all of these boxes. That'll save a lot of space. I don't even know what those light bulbs are. Like, why do I have it if I don't know what it's for? Got all my steamer stuff out here and this thing came with so many extra attachments. These two I actually use and all the little bits on the end of this. But it also came with this giant piece and I never use it and I won't ever use it. So I am giving myself permission to get rid of it. Okay, so I have this closet back to the way I like it. All I need to do is go through our spray bottles and usually I put them right here. But I have some more cleaning stuff up here. So I just wanna put it all together and kind of figure out what I wanna do. Before I start going through these cabinets, I'm actually gonna go through this shelf and this large one. And right off the bat, I can see like, I don't need anything inside this cup or this cup. I know he's so cute, Chip is so cute, but I never use him. He sits here and collects dust and that is all he's doing for me. This was also a gift and um, we never use it. It's supposed to be a cookie jar and um, so it's not even really supposed to be in here. So I'm going to be donating it. I have stuff for dying Easter eggs. So I will put this in my Easter box, but that'll be so much easier because I have completely cleaned out and organized my seasonal decor. So if you have not seen that video, definitely check it out. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can make I think this works. Does this work? Does it look okay? It doesn't, they don't fit on like any of the other shelves, but I think they'll work better here than on these shelves because I ended up just like 
hooking them on this all the time and then it just made a mess. So I think they fit perfectly right here and I think that's where I'm going to keep them. Decided to put all my room refreshers on this shelf as well. I am obsessed. I have to tell you how good this one is. It's Miss Myers and it is the scent Rain Water and I cannot tell you how good this smells. This smells so good. Love spraying it in our room after I've cleaned it. It's just so refreshing. To the, this is all the trash I have so far which is insane but these are the spray bottles and different things that I have left. These are all specifically like bathroom cleaners so I'm gonna put them in the bathroom. These are all kitchen so I'm gonna put that in our kitchen under the sink. This will be what's left to put into the closet inside the laundry room. So on the shelf I was keeping a lot of like these coupons and vouchers that we have and apparently that was a really bad spot for them because <laughs> these expired in 2021. It is 2023 now so that is a bummer. Um, I'm gonna be putting them like in my purse or wallet so that we actually have them when we go to these places and I'll be able to use them. Moving on up to these cabinets and I really hope there's going to be some stuff in here I need to get rid of. So these are the three main scents that I burn every once in a while so I'm going to keep them right here with the rest of my scents. And then these are all like holiday scents so I'm going to actually put these with my Christmas and then these three I am going to be donating. My dog's old bandage. I don't know why I kept it. That's so gross. These are stakes for a fence that we don't even have anymore. So, weird how different areas just start stockpiling different things. These hooks were from Christmas, so I'm just gonna put them in the garage where they belong. And then there's different things like remotes that seem to have just accumulated over here. This one goes for our old robot vacuum that I'm gonna be selling soon. So I put that with that. This goes to like our fan. And I have no idea what this goes to, so I'm just gonna toss it because obviously we weren't missing it or using it anyway. Okay, I really wanna know what you guys do with dirty towels. Mine always end up in our like utility sink here, so I can never actually use the utility sink because it's always just full of towels. So let me know what you do with your dirty towels. I am just working my way over to this side now and my husband gave me permission to donate this hat. That's the only one he is willing to get rid of at this moment, but that's okay. He doesn't really have too many, but. And I just know things will never be the same like strangers again. I am really gonna be going through this slide because I really don't like when these hooks are this cluttered. So um, I already know this leash we never use for Django anymore. It was like a training leash. A lot of these are um, like spare keys for our front door and none of them work anymore. We got a new lock. So I don't know why I'm holding on to them. I need to just get rid of them. Anybody else carry around a pepper spray bottle? Mine expired in 2022. So it looks like I need a new one. Okay, so this diaper bag is already empty. I decided to get this whole organizational system for our car instead. So anything that I was bringing along with me that was in my diaper bag, I keep in our car now, like diaper, change of clothes and different things like that. And then that way it is just always packed up and ready to go. And I don't have to carry this huge thing with me everywhere anymore. So my kids are one and a half and three. So I probably still would get a diaper bag if I had a newborn but um, we are done with the newborn stage. These are just reusable bags and I like to keep these in the car. Otherwise, I never remember to bring them into the store with me. And this is just full of a whole bunch of toys and things from an outing we went to the other day. So I really just need to put all this away. <laughs> I'm also going to be taking this opportunity to clean out my purse, but the best tip I have for you for just minimizing the amount of stuff you have is just to have a small purse to start with. Here's all the trash that I got out of my purse that feels so much lighter. Most of it's just like receipts and different things and puffs, but that literally only took me like five minutes and it feels so much better. Okay, so this bag was hanging over there. It's actually Cecilia's surprise bag for using the bathroom. 
um, just for number two. She actually honestly doesn't need it anymore, but she gets so excited about it that I'm having a hard time taking it away from her. Anyway, it makes more sense for this to actually be in her bathroom rather than in here. So I'm gonna put it in the closet that's in there that's actually locked, so she still won't be able to just willy-nilly get to it. So I'm gonna actually take it out of this bag and put it into this little basket instead. Um, and this basket came from decluttering these cabinets up here, so. So this is our shoe system and I am absolutely in love with it. I searched for years to find something that could like work in this space because it's so small. These just stick onto the wall and it's so easy. I will link them in the description because I'm so obsessed with them. I'm removing all the shoes that don't fit anymore, these ones, and the kids are out with their dad right now so there aren't quite as many shoes as there normally are here. One moment these hooks were completely full and honestly I don't even know where everything went and I'm the one that like decluttered it. Like I have nothing left to put back on these hooks. It feels weird. These are all the items I will be donating and then I have two trash bags full of trash. Today we're going to be tackling the playroom and I'm so excited because this is going to make the biggest difference throughout our house because if you have kids you know the toys don't stay in here. They go everywhere. So here is what this playroom usually looks like and I feel like most of the time it takes me upward of a 45 minutes to an hour just to pick up in here and put everything away. I want to empower my kids to put their toys away and take care of them. I'm going to be starting a new system with their toys. Um, it has a little bit to do with like toy rotation and decluttering of course and I will be sharing that throughout this video. So let's get started. So I did myself a favor last night and cleaned up any hair how I would normally clean up any other day. So things are basically put back where they belong but I definitely need to declutter a lot of their toys. There's just too many that they don't even really have homes anymore. So I have a plan for how I'm gonna be doing a new system for like toy rotation and everything. It's gonna make our lives so much easier. But to get started, I'm going to just go through all of their toys first and use my acronym KISS, keep it super simple. So they either play with something or they don't play with something. If they don't play with it, we're done with it. It's time to get rid of it. So you guys know I like working from the top down, so I'm just gonna work on this main shelf up here and then work my way down and then around this room. These four main bins that just tend to get very cluttered. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I normally do with artwork. So anything like this, I just take a nice picture of and then I will just toss it. But anything with like handprints or footprints, I always keep. So right now I'm definitely just focusing on decluttering these bins and using what I have to reorganize it into its space. But I have so many better ideas for how to organize this space. So if you are interested in watching me do that after I'm done with this decluttering series, definitely leave a comment and let me know. So right now I'm just taking all those pipe cleaners, putting them all together, all the popsicle sticks, grouping them all together in the bags. They were just thrown all throughout this bin. It was just a giant like tornado mess. Okay, so I felt like the majority of this was actually just trash and uh, the rest of this I just really needed to kind of reorganize. Like all of these were just thrown throughout the whole container along with these. So um, I'm just going to, I'm giving them new homes. Um, same with these popsicle sticks. I'm just making sure everything is nicely locked up in the bags. That way it just can't be thrown throughout this bin anymore. I want to be that proof for you guys that you don't have to go out and buy those expensive containers to rework your space. You can just go through it, declutter it, get rid of what you don't need, and that will make the biggest difference around your home. And definitely don't let perfectionism get in your way. I definitely need a better organizational system for like all of their crafts. That bin's not cutting it, but I did end up getting like this much trash out of there. so. That's pretty good. <laughs> I have better ideas for what I'm going to be doing with all this stuff, but for now I'm just going through it and getting rid of anything they don't need or don't use. I know this system is not working for us, so it is time to do something new. Luckily, the 
doesn't make a huge mess, but it's all obviously dried up and it just needs to be thrown away. <laughs> green goofy slime that's definitely not good anymore man i am so lucky that stuff has not made a huge mess there are no stains inside this bin somehow we just got more trash and things we don't need out of that bin here's what we're left with and honestly i still need to do just something different but i will consider that progress this one is all of our coloring books crayons markers you name it. I definitely need something different for these crayons because they get dumped out all the time. I feel like I'm at least going through these bins pretty quickly. So I got that going for me. Most of the time I feel like I'm procrastinating about decluttering areas because I think it's going to take me so much longer than it actually does. And you don't even need to do it all in one day like I'm doing. Sometimes it's easier just to go through one bin a day, do like one cabinet or one drawer each day and it makes it so much easier, especially if you are limited on the amount of time you have. These stickers were like spread out through all three of those bins, so now I have them all in one baggie here. Here's our coloring bin after, so just having everything right up so I can see exactly what to grab or what to get for her is gonna help a lot. And this bag is basically full now after going through three of those bins. I'll show you really quick this bin. It's our Play-Doh bin. It's actually not too bad. It's nothing glorious. I go through it as they play with it, so they play with this all the time and any of the ones that dry up I just toss right away um, and they play with play-doh all the time it's such a fun activity for them so I will have a whole new system for a lot of this stuff up here I will get to that but first I'm just gonna go through these cubbies one by one and pull out everything that they don't play with and I plan on donating I feel like toys can be a hard thing to get rid of sometimes because a lot of the times you don't know if you're going to have more kids and whether or not you should keep them so that you don't have to buy them again later. I think it depends on everybody's circumstances. We are done having kids. We have a one and a three year old right now and we are perfectly content with our family. So anything that they have outgrown, I am ready to donate. This bin has gotten so big and full that I can't even fit it into the cubby anymore, but it's basically full of just random things that don't really go together. Like I just call them miscellaneous items. Um, so I know there are a lot of things in here I need to get rid of. Um, so I'm just going to go through it quickly. I think that's the best part about like these toys is there's a still at an age where a lot of their toys are still really big. So they just take up a lot of space. But it's really not too much, so I feel like I'm going through it pretty quickly. This bin was actually a lot of fun to watch Cecilia and Owen go through because it would actually keep them occupied for a good amount of time because there was just so much in here. But anytime they did go through it, it got dumped everywhere and then they would trip over it and then there'd be tears. So it's just not worth it. This whole pile is just a bunch of toys and things they have absolutely grown out of definitely do not use or need anymore and a lot of it was just stuff I needed to throw away like I can't even donate it so this is what we are left with this bin we have a little dress up area over here and I love this little bar I got it from Target for seven dollars it's supposed to be taller um, but we made it as short as it could be and it's just been perfect for holding all of her dress up clothes and I cannot believe it was only seven dollars <laughs> and then we've been using this tray for like all the hats and accessories for dress up and they do use a lot of this this is my old bag though so I think I'm gonna take this out of here because she already has a backpack she doesn't need this one too and she never uses this tote either so these two items are pretty big and don't need to be in here so I'm gonna donate them. I'm gonna go through everything that I have laid out here that basically didn't have a home before um this dog is obnoxious <laughs> they barely play with it anyway so I will be donating this and these I don't need this anymore. This is where we keep all of Cecilia's like foods um, to play with. So I make sure everything has its other half. Um, it's really not too bad. And then I'm just getting rid of the ones that are just 
truly beaten up or don't stick together anymore because they've lost pieces. Owen is about to get up from his nap, so I gotta get this stuff out of here. But this is just from going through like an hour and a half worth in their playroom while they were napping. So this is all trash. I have an entire trash bag there full of trash. And then all these toys and different things that we are gonna be getting rid of. So I don't know if you noticed, but there are no books in that playroom. So I'm gonna show you really quick what I have done with them. I did this when I decluttered our whole living room. So I have dedicated this bookshelf down here, just these two with their books and it used to take up like all three of these and all three of those over there um, but now I have it condensed down to just this and it has been life-saving it makes a huge difference so we actually have more in Cecilia's closet so this closet is locked so that I'm able to easily just swap out books whenever they get bored of them we do read all of these books. My kids love and adore books. So this amount for rotation is what works for us. Okay, so we've worked on like the sheer amount of toys that are in here. We got rid of and donated a lot. And I think in this next step, I'll probably end up getting rid of some more too. So on either side of these cubbies, we have these huge cabinets that my husband and I built and they have like office supplies and my art and craft supplies, like scrapbooking and things that are my own so i need to go through them because i want to use this one cabinet to help me with my toy rotation system that i'm going to put in place for owen and cecilia so i plan on having like maybe one toy per cubby here for them and i think that'll be enough and then when they are like out of rotation i'll be able to um, put their toys in here and i'll be able to swap them out when i feel it's necessary but <laughs> these cabinets are so full. Slide has definitely gotten to be the worst and there are so many things in there I can already see that I need to get rid of. Um, this was all like my scrapbooking stuff. So I feel like this side isn't too bad because I haven't had any time to scrapbook in the first place. This side um, is mostly like arts and crafts, I guess. Like there's a ribbon and just different things in here. This one was mostly like office supplies, so we'll see what we can do here. So I just set up the kids with the movie, hopefully to buy myself another like 45 minutes. But what I did so far was just moved over all the toys to the side of the room. Just to give me some more space, I also took apart the uh, Peppa Pig thing that was on the table here. So that'll have more room to go through these cabinets. I think both Amazon and Ikea have great options for cabinets similar to this if you wanted to do a toy rotation similar to how I'm doing it too. Because this is kind of my scrapbook side, I tend to shove a whole bunch of like memento things in here. So this was <laughs> Cecilia's first Christmas cookie that she decorated. And I was planning on like covering it in glycerin and then making it into an ornament to put on the tree. I just don't think that's ever gonna happen. So I have plenty of pictures of me making like these cookies with her. So I'm gonna hold on to those memories instead of this one. <laughs> like pictures too. So like for Owen's first birthday, I had all his monthly pictures printed out up until like 12. So there's 12 different pictures here. I don't plan on using these for anything else, so I'm just going to toss them. Luckily, like everything's digital now, so if I do need to print out these pictures again, I can, or if I just want to see them, they are all on our like cloud now. I am beyond grateful that we live in the 21st century where we don't have to have a ton of film or pictures laying around our homes. Okay, so this is a good example of like what I keep and what I don't. I keep footprints like this. I think this would be super cute to frame and actually like put out every year. And I know I'm not always gonna be, you know, doing footprints on my kids' feet. Um, these ones I will take pictures of and then toss. At this point, I think I was really in it to win it. I wanted to get these cabinets cleared out so badly by the end of the day that I was just like, I'm speeding up the video, but I'm actually moving very, very fast, which made it a lot easier to decide on getting rid of things. I didn't give myself any extra time to think about it. I just, if I use it, I'm keeping it. If I don't use it, I'm getting rid of it. Especially all this scrapbooking supplies that I don't use anymore. Just going through what I can and tossing anything that's dried up. There are actually a lot of things in here that have dried up, like this Mod Podge. So I will be tossing that. I also have like a whole thing of um, glue sticks in here that are 
completely dried up, so there is absolutely no reason I should have these in here. I just haven't gone through it, and now is the time to do it. So at this point, I was lucky and my husband was home from work, so he is playing with the kids while I'm knocking out the rest of these cabinets. I just emptied an entire drawer. These I used to make something for my kids' rooms. Yeah, toss those and then all these beads and different things. I'm never going to use my mom gave them to me because she stopped doing the beadwork that she was doing. So I was kind of lucky with them and I never used them in the first place. So I'm just going to donate them to somebody that will actually use those. I think what helped me the most when it came to decluttering these cabinets was minimizing and downsizing the amount of space that I had to hold it all. So I needed to get rid of enough stuff that I could fit it all in one side instead of both. And I think if I had done it differently and kept everything in these cabinets, I wouldn't have gotten rid of nearly as much as I did. I don't know why I was like, finding myself holding back so much I think because when it comes to like art stuff and office stuff it's the I might use it in the future that comes up a lot. I'm now going to be kind of just adapting like how many years has it been since I've used it and kind of going from there. I don't know about you guys but sometimes I hold on to things for years and I don't even use them. I've been keeping all of these scissors and they don't even cut very well so I'm going to be getting rid of all of these. It took me a moment to get in the groove, but I'm finally getting better here with deciding to toss them. We have a full trash bag. I can't even remember how I ended up with this in the first place. It's all homeschool supplies, but gosh, this stuff is like for Cecilia like 10 years from now or something. Sorry if you can hear them in the background, they're crazy. And I'm just gonna give this to somebody that I know that will actually be able to use it right now rather than it be like sitting here in a closet for who knows how long. Okay, this thing is like all wires that we have. So at least they're all in one spot, but um, I definitely do not need all of these. So as I go through the wires, I'm actually just keeping one type of each plug. I'm not keeping multiples of wires we don't need or use. I'm making sure we actually have the electronic device that needs it to charge or whatever it connects to and I'm getting rid of the rest of them. The next thing I pulled out of the cabinet were all these pencils and pens and I do go through them here and I actually end up coming back later and getting rid of most of them. So I like making two passes sometimes like I th sit there and think about it and then I'm like, man, I really do not need this many pencils. So I might as well donate them and one that does need them will be able to use them. So I was having the hardest time falling asleep last night. So instead of just laying there, I decided to just knock out these cabinets. So I came in here, I was here until like midnight last night working on this. And these cabinets are completely empty. So this is all the trash that I got out of those cabinets and I just went to town on anything that I hadn't used in years and decided to finally just get rid of it. These are all items I think I can like donate like somebody else will be able to use them. And then I have a few different things here that I have to do different things with. Like all of these binders I need to scan and then I'll be able to toss them. Um, this is a project from our wedding that I need to do. So I will try my best to do that very soon. And then our office is in our bedroom, so I'm just gonna put like these markers and different things with it. And then this is another project that I need to do. It's gonna be a blanket for Cecilia. Um, this stuff is all like holiday. I was actually looking for these like this past Easter and I couldn't find them, so there they are. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that with all my holiday stuff. And then um, the only exception to what I could not fit into these cabinets over here is our printer so I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm just gonna put it back on that shelf or if I can find another home for it like maybe in our bedroom we will see and then these are all the bins that I emptied like there's nothing left in these all of these were organizing different things inside this bin and everything is just 
empty now. This is what this side of the cabinet looks like and this is like my arts and craft supplies. So my sewing machine, my Cricut, everything for scrapbooking, art supplies that are for myself and not like for the kids. Okay, so now I'm going to focus on getting some of these toys into this cabinet that I'm going to be rotating in and out. My goal I think is just to have like one toy per like cubby in here. I'm not sure about like the ones that need like bins and different things. I'm gonna kind of figure that out as I go and I'll let you guys know. But um, for now I'm just gonna try and move some of this stuff into here just to see how it's gonna work, see how much it's actually gonna hold and how it's gonna work. I feel extremely fortunate that my husband and I have some carpentry skills. Like we built these cabinets ourselves. I saved so much money doing it, but if you don't, I totally recommend checking out Ikea or Amazon, something for like a cabinet similar to this that you can put a bunch of toys in and kids just won't have access to it all the time. Then you're able to rotate toys out. Toys get played with more because they don't get bored of them. They're not all out all the time. It makes it so much easier to clean up. I definitely recommend this rotation system. <laughs> Overflowing with the magnet tiles. They never really fit in here very well. But my kids play with the magnet tiles a lot. So I'm not gonna get rid of any of these. I'm just gonna move them to a bigger bin. So I decided on leaving one toy out per cubby and my daughter knows that too so when she's putting toys away she knows one toy goes in each cubby. I was not able to fit my printer in here but that's okay I think it'll do better in our bedroom anyway because that's where our computer is to print um but I have to find a spot for it in there but you'll see that in the next video because that'll be our master bedroom and I have not done that room yet that'll be my last room for this decluttering series so definitely subscribe if you are not already so that you can see that video. So at this point, I'm just doing some final touches here and I cannot wait to show you the pile of stuff that I'm getting out of our house. It is absolutely insane. So this is our final look here and I decided to put all the building blocks and pieces on the top. My kids can't pull those out themselves. And then each cubby has one toy. This cabinet they cannot get into, so I'm able to easily just rotate toys out whenever they get bored of them. And then I just kind of reworked the room a little bit too. So the table is sideways now so that they can get to either side of it. I set up this little area so that it's like a little restaurant. And then this is all the stuff that is getting out of our house. It is just mind-blowing to me. All the trash, all the donation, all the toys. I want you guys to feel how refreshing and good it feels to get rid of this stuff we don't need and it's just cluttering our homes and our mental space. Welcome to my master bedroom decluttering video. This will mark the last room that I have to go through. I've gone through every single room in our house. I'm really not going to stop here. After doing all of this, I cannot wait to share with you guys like how easy it is to clean our home now that I have decluttered a lot of the junk <laughs> that has just been filling it up. I will be sharing like new morning routines, night cleaning routines. I've been so obsessed now with different things that I can do to make our lives so much easier. That includes things like meal prepping and I just cannot wait to share these things with you guys. So subscribe if you are new and let's get started on this master bedroom. Okay, so this is our quick overview of our master bedroom, everything that we are gonna be working on today. And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these piles accumulated during my decluttering process throughout our home because I knew this was gonna be our last room. So this is the like final countdown if you will and basically anything I don't use in here is getting donated. I also have this whole desk area that I need to go through underneath our bed and all the drawers are just stuffed so we're gonna knock this out. I'm gonna start by getting rid of all these piles in our master bedroom. It's gonna make it easier to go through all the drawers later. I also think it's gonna make the biggest difference in here so it's gonna help keep me motivated to keep going. This first pile here are just frames that I took down from around our house while I've been <laughs> decluttering and I just wanted to make sure as I was going through each room that I didn't want to put these somewhere else first. This is our last room so I don't want to put them up in here so it's just time to take these pictures 
out and donate all these frames. It's hard because all these frames are really nice. I really like all these frames, but I don't have anywhere to use them. So it's just, it's time. It's time to get rid of them. I even have these frames that don't even have anything in them. And I don't do that anymore after decluttering. Like if I buy something from the store, I have to have like a specific purpose for it now and a spot that I'm going to put it. I don't just buy things because I like them anymore. <laughs> okay, so you, well, first off, I need to toss this. This is an insert for my pillow. This, my mom gave to me, gosh, it had to have been six or seven years ago. It was my dad's and he actually didn't want to declutter it from their closet. He wanted to hold on to it. So my mom gave it to me so that it was out of their space. He couldn't find it just to see if he would even notice. I'm going to give this back to my dad now and still give him the opportunity to get rid of this or not, but I'm getting it out of our house. And then these pieces are actually um, ones my great grandma made and my mom still wants them. They are moving to a bigger house soon. Um, I just don't know exactly when. So I'm going to put it in the attic for now. It'll be a good spot for it. So I realized I should probably put some context into why I'm holding on to all these things from my parents, including this candle, but they are actually in an RV now. They had to sold everything and travel the entire country now, but I definitely do not recommend letting your house become a storage unit <laughs> for your family. And I probably have like a whole pile I'm going to be making of organizing stuff that I've just been piling in here because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to use it anywhere else. So that's what all this stuff is. I even have a whole thing here. These I might end up using in the drawers in here, but I'm just going to start piling all that stuff together. Okay, now we have boxes and I think I am so done with boxes. I'm just going to be breaking these down and getting rid of them now. I really don't think there is a reason to have these anymore. I do keep them for just a little bit to make sure I'm not going to like return something. I was going to be keeping these underneath my bed. That was my initial thought, but I don't even need them in the first place. So we're getting rid of them. So I actually looked up reasons why you should hold on to a box and the only answers I came up with were if you are moving, it's a really good case to carry your electronic in to keep it safe. Another reason would be like if you're selling it later, it's really enticing to a buyer if you still have the original case. The last reason was if you might be returning it and then if you're not, just get rid okay, of it. Okay, so this pile of clothes has actually been coming from my closet. And I've only been leaving it here because I knew I was going to be decluttering this room next. But as I've been like putting things on and um, deciding not to wear them, I've actually been putting them in this pile instead because one, I don't really like them on, so why am I keeping them? So these are just <laughs> extra things that I should have decluttered the first time when I cleaned up my closet. So these are all donation. These blankets are also a donation, so Let's just bring them over there. Okay, it's actually much later in the day now. Owen woke up from his nap way too early, but my husband is home and is playing with the kids while I try to knock out as much as I can here. This printer you might remember from my playroom decluttering video. I do need to find a spot for it in here, but I'm gonna put it back over here like with all the office stuff because that's definitely where it's gonna be going. And then I need to go through these bins okay so this is my husband and i's mementos i'm gonna see what i can do in here but i know a lot of this stuff is like keep <laughs> and i'm happy that it fits in one box it's just very tight and then this one is actually my parents so this is another thing i've just been holding on for them and soon very soon i am so happy i'm not gonna have to store this for them anymore so just imagine this gone. So this mementos box actually holds just a lot of my older like journals and different things. I used to journal a lot when I was a teenager. My husband and I have also known each other since we were 11 and 12 years old. So we just have a lot of mementos that just bring back those memories for us. I like to hold on to things like 
the physical letters that my husband and I used to write each other, even though we didn't live that far apart, like maybe 30 minutes. So I used to have these memento boxes in the closet with all of our seasonal decor, but I made that closet just specifically seasonal decor, nothing else. And then these ones I'm going to put in my closet. And that was the first video I did. So if you remember that one, you might recall that I had a lot of extra space in there. Okay, we are definitely making a ton of progress here. Um, this is actually on Facebook Marketplace as we speak. I just have yet to sell it. This stuff is all pretty tedious. So um, I have to go through it, scan th some things, and shred some documents in these. But after I do all that, I'll be able to throw all this away and then I won't have that physical trash anymore. And then these are all drawings that I've done a long time ago. And um, I'm just gonna scan those and then I won't have to worry about this anymore. On our desk right now, I just have a ton of paper clutter that I need to clean up. I won't bore you guys with that, but I had kept this one over here. You might re like remember seeing it from when I decluttered my kids' playroom. And I kept it because um, I think I might need to use it to put our printer on top of. So I'm gonna see what I can do and rework it into something I'll be happy with and will be like functional. Here are all the boring stuff, all the papers that we have, and this is the amount of trash I got. So all that is just gonna be trashed and then that's everything I need to shred. This is giving me flashbacks because when I was a teenager I had so many hamsters and I would use shredded paper for their bedding. So that's the only thing I can think of when I'm shredding paper. <laughs> So here's our final look at our desk area and this computer is actually going to be coming out of here. We just have to sell it on probably like Facebook marketplace or something, but I was able to go through everything. My husband and I both have our own laptops now, so they take up so much less space and then our printer actually works pretty well here. So I'm happy with having it right there. This is just all the trash that we have accumulated so far. So now that I know I don't need this bin for the printer, I'm going to be getting rid of it, donating it. I'm going to be condensing down and getting rid of a lot of this party decor as well that I don't need. I don't know how long I've had this banner. It's been a while and I've never used it, so I'm going to donate it along with just like any extra tablecloths or things from past parties that I did not use. So I've been doing so much research on just decluttering and just different tips you can do. And the number one that I have been actually following too is just to focus on decluttering first and then work your way into organizing and redecorating. Don't try to do it all together. So that's what I've been doing is just decluttering these spaces, all of our rooms, so one at a time. And then once I get rid of everything that we don't need, I'll be able to organize it so much easier and I cannot wait to share all the ideas that I have with you guys. Trash, donation, and two bins to go into my closet. Okay, we have made it through all of those piles that used to be here. No more piles, no more clutter. Now it's time to go through all of our drawers. We started a whole pile there of my donation clothes, but um, I actually don't have any clothes in here, but I have do like a whole bunch of things that I know I'm gonna need to toss. Like I don't even have these earbuds anymore. I can just be thrown away. I never use this. I don't know why I keep this in here. I have more adapters <laughs> that I do not need. We have some empty <laughs> drawers in here now. So the literally like the only thing I have to put in here is our massager and that is it. We have some old journals that I just need to put in my memento box and then this is all donation. We are done with that area now so I'm going to be moving over to this tall dresser. Then we'll do this one and I have a bunch of stuff under our bed as well that I need to go through. Okay so these drawers are always the ones that I tend to put off and they don't even take that long. So I know already like these don't fit me anymore. They're too big. This one is just uncomfortable. So I'm getting rid of it. These are like thermals. So I'll probably keep those. 
Um, these I don't like. These I don't like. I don't know why I still have those. These I got for like a Christmas event and I don't think I will ever wear these again. <laughs> This next drawer down actually just has my husband's like work uniforms and different things. He's gonna go through his own drawers. I'm not gonna go through his stuff, but my belts were like mixed in with it. So I took those all out and I'm donating them all. I never wear any belts. So the rest of those drawers are my husband's. The two more that I'm gonna go through that are mine are these two. These have like my underwear in them, so I'm not gonna go through them on camera. But um, this drawer is all my PJs and I have a really big problem. So to give myself credit, I did not buy these, but I do have a bad habit of just um, taking my husband's t-shirts and this is what I normally sleep in. So I tend to collect too many of them. So I'm gonna go through these and just keep the ones that I really need. drawers are literally so deep and awkward so I can't exactly put it up and down like I like to like all of these Definitely nothing fancy but we are making so much progress here this drawer is super awkward and weird I do keep my bathing suits in here and we live in Florida so we go swimming a lot so it might seem like a lot of bathing suits to some people the amount of time you spend in the water here it, I think is like more than anywhere else. I think it's worse than getting a wet bathing suit on. So I like to have multiple, but I'm definitely going to be getting rid of some of these, I think. Feeling we tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you. This is the pile of just like worn out stuff that they won't even take for donation. And then my pile of clothes to take to the donation center. Okay, this might be near impossible to do in the toddler hanging around here, but we're gonna try our best. Okay. Are you gonna help me? So I'm just gonna start by taking absolutely everything out from underneath our bed, and then I will go through it. Again, like strangers again, again, again. I just know so now that I have everything out, I'm going to go through it on our bed here. I have a lot of vacuum sealed winter wear. These pillows I'm going to be getting rid of because it's been over a year and I have not used them. So they do not need to be taking up space in there. Kids are finally in bed. Thank goodness it's summer. The sun is out so long. Um, so it's not super dark out. So the entire case I'm going through right now is actually all of my maternity clothes and I am ready to get rid of them. I actually have a place called, like really close to me, it's called Kid to Kid and they buy and sell kids clothing. They also buy and sell maternity clothes. So I brought my maternity clothes there and I got like $75 for all of it. That's like insane. So definitely recommend trying to sell your lightly used maternity clothes that you do not need anymore. So this whole basket I filled with my maternity clothes and now I'm gonna be going through my vacuum sealed winter, like heavy winter wear clothing. We live in Florida, so we actually don't need to wear this stuff. But anytime we go on vacation during the winter months, instead of going out to buy like this heavy duty clothing, I just pack it in here and put it in a vacuum seal bag because I know we will need it. And these heavy jackets can be pretty pricey, so I'm not gonna buy a new one every year. <laughs> jackets from our heavy winter wear that my husband said he no longer wants so I will be donating these. This stuff used to be in two separate bags but now I have it in one really big one but I loaded it in here and tried to keep it within the lines even though this bag goes way out there so 
Hopefully when I vacuum seal this, it'll all go nicely down inside this bin. So this is the only thing that's going underneath our bed. So this one is just full of all of our heavy winter wear. And then these are actually <laughs> like blackout curtains that we bring on trips. Anyway, um, this one just has some signed t-shirts in it that we're not gonna get rid of. And then I had so much room left that I just put my extra vacuum seal bags in here. <laughs> I love how easy it is to slide these in and out from underneath our bed now. And here is everything we are getting rid of. There's trash bags here too. So some of this is trash. A lot of it is a donation. Feels so good to get rid of this. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna be sharing so many future videos about making your life easier making our lives easier and i just cannot wait to share that all with you so if you subscribe if you're new you won't miss any of those videos and i will see you all right here next week in a brand new video Bye.